I think this film will remind all of us who are passengers on the trains that we all have a right to travel comfortably and without any travel anxiety. And it, it will focus not just for people who have special needs when they're traveling and want to make sure that they're safe and secure, but also those who work in the railways and those of us who are regular passengers to be there to welcome everyone because we're all traveling in the same direction when we're all together on the train. Trains, what do we use them for? Some people use them to go to work or college. Some people use them to go and see friends. And some people use them simply to go and have fun. For some of us, using the train or planning a trip on the train can seem a little scary. But hey, it doesn't have to be. Trains come in all shapes and sizes, colours and are run by different companies. But don't worry, when planning your train trip, there are plenty of great places you can get useful information from and a group of very friendly people who can help you plan your journey and help you complete it. During this film, you will see a group of people just like you who have planned their journey and had a great time traveling on the train. But before we travel with them, let's have a look at different ways you can plan your journey. If you, your parent or supporter have access to the internet, a great place to start planning your journey is here, the Disabled Persons Rail Card website. This website will show you how you can get a disability rail card, which will make traveling cheaper for you and a companion. But this website can do so much more than that, especially if you are one of the large number of people who require assistance when traveling on the train. Always remember though, the more notice you give, the more assistance you will get. Make sure you plan your journey at least one full day or 24 hours in advance. So if you think you might need any help at all, this is the button to press. When this form pops up on the screen and you fill it in, give as much information as you can, because when you send it off with your phone number, somebody will ring you back to discuss exactly what help and assistance you require. This might be getting on and off the train, arranging for a wheelchair or transportation to and from the train, or reserving seats and wheelchair assistance. When you have discussed the help you need over the phone, you will be emailed a form with all the details of your journey. So, having arranged your journey, all you need to do now is buy your ticket. If you're already on the internet and have a credit or debit card, like Robin and his supporter here, you can buy your ticket online at the National Rail Inquiries website. If you are booking your ticket here, don't forget to use all the information given to you earlier. Using the information that you were given will make sure that when you arrive at the station, all your assistance is ready and waiting. Before we leave this website, you can even have a look at the stations you will be using, which could be useful if you've never been to them before. Okay, so we've had a look at planning your journey, getting assistance and booking a ticket on the internet. But this is not the only way you can get assistance and buy your ticket. You can also visit your local railway station booking office and they will be more than happy to help you plan your journey and arrange the assistance you need. You can also buy your ticket from a machine at the station or you can buy your ticket directly from a guard on the train. So, we've seen that buying a ticket doesn't have to be hard work, and neither does getting on the train. Your local train operator may be able to provide you with something like this. This one just happens to be orange. 
it can be especially useful if you have trouble making yourself understood or are really nervous and shy when talking to other people. Using this wallet, you can ask any questions that will make your journey easier. So what have we done? We've looked at planning a journey and getting the assistance we need by going to the Disabled Persons Railcard website. We've looked at buying a ticket on the National Rail website at the station, a machine or on the train. And we've looked at the Orange Wallet scheme that can help you travel. But what does all this look like in real life? These are our friends, Mary, Pete, Allard and Robin. They will be travelling from different parts of the country, using different types of stations, buying tickets in different ways, but they are all going to the same place, back to college after their holidays. Mary here has the longest journey of them all, and her journey begins here, at London Euston Station, a large, busy station with lots of assistance available, and she needs to get here, the Bowen. But with careful planning, she has made her journey really easy. Mary has arranged for a taxi to take her to London Euston Station. Thanks to her planning, Mary knows the first place she will visit is the help point. From here, she will call for the assistance she has arranged. And this person from the assistance centre will remain with Mary until she gets safely on the train. He will help Mary to collect her tickets from the ticket desk at the station, take her to the Mobility Assistance Centre to wait for her train, and once it arrives, help her to get on the train safely. Once safely on board, the train guard will be on hand to help Mary throughout her journey. All this help and assistance was made possible because Mary and her supporter planned her journey in advance. So Mary is safely on her way. Let's have a look at one of her friends, Alid, who will be travelling from a much smaller station. Alid decided that he was going to buy his ticket from a ticket machine, and together with his supporter, we can see him doing just that. You probably saw that Alid was using a credit or debit card, but what if you don't have one? Not to worry, if there is a booking office, you can buy a ticket from here with cash. But what if there's no ticket machine or no ticket office? What do you do then? This was Pete's experience when he needed to catch his train at an even smaller train station. Not to worry, Pete knows that he can buy his ticket on the train. Now sometimes Pete's a bit shy and has trouble talking to people, but it's not a problem. Pete has his orange wallet where he keeps a few questions about his journey that he may need to ask the guard. For example, is this the train to Shrewsbury? Or how much is single ticket to Shrewsbury? Here we can see that as the train arrives, Pete's holding his orange wallet up, which lets the guard know that he may need a little bit of assistance. The guard with this particular rail company knows what the orange wallets are for and will offer help and assistance as needed. So where are we now? We've seen our friends successfully make their journeys from their homes and here they are meeting up to make the final leg of their journey back to college. All of their journeys have been different but one thing our friends know is that no matter what type of journey they need to make, with the right planning, they can do it. And finally, with a little bit of help, just like them, you can all become confident travellers. Have fun. You can travel by train if you have a disability. Lots of help, lots of support, and lots of assistance available. Lots of modern facilities on trains as well. Travelling by rail isn't as challenging as you would imagine it to. So all we want you to do is think about using trains as the possible way of having a good time, having a day out. That way, you'll enjoy yourselves.